Get away, DDK and, and Sadikist. All right, thank you guys very much. Cloud9 and Kaboom, this is going to be really exciting here on Mirage. First Mirage of the day. And uh, Kaboom starting off on the terrorist side. Cloud9, the counter terrorist. And, uh, so far, very simple setup. Shazam already picking up a kill at top mid, so things rolling quite well off the start here so far for Cloud9. Couldn't have been an any more perfect start for Shazam. We talked about it. He's the guy that's new on the team, and he has to play extremely well. Well, he got the first shot. Now it's the rest to do. Watch out, though, because they've gotten through underpass, and Kaboom might try and push in on A. It was a 2-1-2 split. Nothing is going to at least catch out on Fur. So that evens the sides have been back the other way, but Jaziki's going to go back. ZQK, as he's better known, comes back in for one there. So Shazam's down and out. He was on low HP. He did get dinked up. But Sean Gares and nothing are going to pick up one more on their own. And ZQK and Steel dropping down that time. So Bolt's the only one remaining now. Trying to come out of Palace. That bomb's already dropped. And Cloud9, on the back of a great Pokeball, will take the first round. One to nothing score on Mirage. Yeah, really clean there. Um, Shazam opening up the, the first frag, definitely giving them a really, really nice edge. And I think Cloud9 had a really good read off after that point of exactly how they were actually moving across the map into that A push. So, you know, that, that was just very well handled from them. And uh, Kaboom, it was so close to getting the bomb down, and of course that makes all the difference. They're going to go for a scout pistol armor here, but uh, if they do lose this, they're going to be echoing the following round as they didn't get that bomb down. So, Cloud9, ooh, he's got a body shot on the Shazam at least. They just have to make sure they don't let that scout abuse them too much. It's easy to do, there's no question about it. And Shazam was only peeking back with the FAMAS, so it was a bit of an advantage there for ZQK. And as you can see, he took Shazam down to that 31, but Shazam did have full armor, so that prohibited a bit of the damage. As nothing will smoke off onto underpass. Nice shot, ZQK down, that's your scout, so it's only the pistols left. And they're inside the B apartments, while well, at least Steel and Fur are. But the bomb's in the hands of Fallen, and he's over to Ward A, working with Bolts, who's inside the palace. Semphis is Put his attentions from jungle back toward connector, but that flash gives it away. They'll force back inside the site, but Steel's gonna get Sean Gares. So now the rotates are gonna have to be quick. Shroud's still there. Steel still wreaking havoc over at B, but they haven't sold Cloud9 entirely. Fallen actually says, forget it, I'm gonna go over and join them if they've got site control. Which is that take down Steel this, so things not looking too shabby there for Cloud9 as they hold on. And they again read the situation pretty well because they actually let them kind of over to, uh, take over B there, uh, but obviously knowing where the bomb was. And now we can see them drifting back there towards that B defense. Nice shot there from Fur, able to take down Shazam. And uh, nothing's also quite low, so... That was a frag here. Big well. kill on Shazam because he was the only one inside the site that could have stopped him. And Fur is playing unbelievably well holding on to that site that... Bomb has arrived, Fallen still not able to get it down though, but now he might as Fur picks up a hat trick. Cloud9 getting torn apart on an eco round, and Shroud is gonna have to do it all, and he cannot. Fallen will get the kill, so already Kaboom showing off great skill as they get an eco round. Tried to fake it over at B, but it turns out they'll make a home for themselves, and Fur, man, oh man, great shots. Yeah, that's, that's quite ridiculous. I mean, P-50, the honest man's pistol. Okay, it's not quite as good as CZ, but still just as deadly sometimes, and uh, Cloud9 should never have lost that round. Now things get really awkward and weird, because if you look at this buy now for, for them, I mean, it's well, the, a flash and a smoke. Well, that's that's great. A couple, uh, couple five sevens, few PD fifties here. You can see AKs, Galils. You know, it's looking really nice now for Kaboom. They can actually spring forward. But the thing is, is that we do have a bit of a stack here for Cloud9 in sh around Shadow. So this could actually yield a few frags here as the push does come in. Frags starting to go the way of Kaboom as they make their way in. It's pretty easy cleanup so far, and that's that's the stack eliminated. You can see they even dropped the bomb there by Slope just to play it safe. And uh, looks like they're not going to make the same mistake as uh, Cloud9. And they will clean up the round with only one loss. Yeah, they look really good. I, I, like we said, they were the team we knew the lo least about, excuse me. Coming in, not a whole lot of international experience. We knew Fallen. Fallen actually, I think, confidently. I know Thorne mentioned, I think it was a tweet that he said, I've never lost to a North American team. Why should I be worried? Well. They're showing off skill now, and Cloud9 needs to be fully aware that they are capable because they took an eco and a convincing round to follow. So Cloud9's got to dig themselves out of a small hole yes, already and watch out because ZQK is up close with that off. Ooh, almost a double as well, and that timing is brutal. I mean, okay, they only have pistols, but still, I think they're an AWP is alive, and things will get a little bit tricky for them. Bolt's going to pick up one onto nothing there from Palace. So just dissecting them at this point, just here, there, and everywhere. And so we are going to see the push slowly coming in towards uh, the B apps. Shazam, though, does get one on steel. Shazam has been playing 
rather disciplined so far. Sometimes, especially back at ESCA land when he was on denial, got rather careless and actually gave away some rounds to Kenny S when he lost the one-on-one, -on -one. but he's playing well so far. Sean Gares gets fur, but Fallen actually took down Shazam just before that, so Sean is all that remains in that nade. No, not quite going to be enough. He falls back. But he will get taken down in the end from Bolts. Uh, just before I let you now uh, analyze that round, a quick note, Sean Gares was on denial at ESCA land. This was the map he actually played extremely well against Cloud9 yeah. and knocked them out, so interesting that they're here now as teammates. Yeah, Cloud9 had some phenomenal matches here at, at uh, I think it was Cologne as well. Um, th this was, this has been, I think it was uh, a match against Dignitas as well. Like, they historically have been really, really good here. Obviously, now they have Shazam. It, it, theoretically, actually, that should have made them stronger, I think. Um, so we'll have to see if that comes into play here. But we're looking at the buy coming in from both sides. Shazam picking up the AWP. The setup in the works here from Kaboom. Looking to line up all those smoke grenades, isolate the site completely so they can plant immediately here. But uh, Cloud9. Are they going to be able to be patient enough to make sure that they uh, don't take any losses once these grenades come in? And there you go. You see Cloud9 moving in a little bit. They know what's going on. You see the wall of smokes there. Very Navi S there from them. And Titan Esk also. And Cloud9 are completely locked out. And there's a huge path for the Kaboom to just sprint up and just take massive control of this area before passing the bomb towards Connector. This looks phenomenal now for the Kaboom in this part, a post plant setup. Cloud9 again, patience is the key here. The smokes have gone away. Nothing. Losers connected to Fur. Kaboom. Just holding down all the positions here. Oh, Great wow. shots coming in there from Kaboom. All across the board. As Semphis looks for something, but he is alone on 19 health and he's going to get absolutely nothing here. As he's going to fall back and keep that weapon alive. What a nice execute there from Kaboom. Kaboom looks excellent so far. That wall of smokes, they didn't even plant in default. By using that smoke, they were able to leave themselves open to jungle and connector, and then they couldn't get shot out from CT spawn. They look really well organized yeah. right now. I don't know if this is a flash in the plan on Mirage, but maybe Cloud9's in a bit of trouble with this map choice. Oh, yeah. Hard to say early on, but man, oh man, they look a lot better than I was expecting. And that was the first round they had full guns on cloud Nine side. In fact, Shazam had his op out. He didn't even get much of a shot at anything, so yeah, I mean, great really, start. It really like, warms my heart to actually see them make plays like that, because uh, as I mentioned, like that's something that you see Navi and, and uh, Titan also start doing that a lot uh, at the end of last year. So they've obviously been doing their homework. And uh, can these pistols find some kills here? Just going to try to do some damage, but it looks like Bolster's going to lock it down. Great defense there with the AK. And uh, Shroud to go down as well. This player gets caught in between two sides. That's an AK there for Shazam. Could be a little bit troublesome here. CQK still just trying to find one shot with that up. Oh, just missing there. And as Bolts jumps forward, he gets taken down. So Sean's got two. He's trying to claw back into the round. In fact, Shazam's picked up an AK as well, so there might be an opportunity to try and hold on to that. He's still out toward middle, but watch out. Steals on the flank as he comes around from window room. And yeah, easy kill on Sean Gares. At least Shazam will know he's there, but he's still preoccupied with Fallen, and in the end, he will fall to him. So 5-1, Kaboom, man, oh man, great start. This is really scary, actually, because- Very scary for like, Cloud9. One, one thing to remind like, the viewers and, and people that are newer to CS, like, this is, uh, you know, some maps have an inherent kind of bias, like it's, it's in a bit more sided on the CT or T side or whatever, you, typically a CT, but this map is, is one of those maps which is like fairly CT sided, like the 10-5 is something that's like fairly, fairly common. Um, as a result, so for Kaboom to already pull out five rounds so quickly as they have been, this spells massive trouble here for Cloud9 early on, and they're looking to do another execute here onto the A site. And it's a best of one format in this too, so there's no opportunity to say, eh, well, we got two more maps, let's at least figure these guys out and throw this one out the window. They've got to play, they've got to come back all the way, they can't just... Uh Try and get information. They got to win wow. rounds right nice now. Nice setup, so. though. Look at that. The kind of like triangle setup on the side. That's that's much better than the previous setup they had. They might have a much better time this. And actually, that'll prevent out. the smokes because nothing will be forward of them. They're going to try for that triple smoke again. There it is. The wall is out. Semphis is going to focus on Palace. Shroud's there to rotate, but it's going to be nothing. Like I said, pops out and he gets three just like that. So a good reaction play, and they adapt. But first, come around from Connector. He's gotten inside the sandwich himself. Semphis will get the response, and now it's all on ZQK. Good play from Cloud9 to adapt. Semphis, that's your teammate, my friend. I'm not sure if you guys had an argument last night, but get over it, kiss and make up, because you still need to win rounds. Yeah, ZQK still last man alive. And they know he is. They got him on lock-in. Yeah, I mean, that, that's just such a key difference in just like how they set up. The previous round, they had two players who set up defensively, Connector and, and uh, CT spawn, so they got completely locked out of the site. So nice wow. shot there from ZQK. Can he actually keep this up here? I mean, he's got not m much in the way of time, and the C these CTs can just hold this. Nice for that second one. He almost hit that as well. He just barely missed out on that shot back toward Shazam. So uh, one thing worth noting as well is that 
for them to actually be able to defend so strongly there, what they gave up was um, any control on middle. Having like three players so deep on A means that your middle control is actually quite weak. So uh, that's that's the toss up there. But that, that kind of gamble paid off for them that round. So it's, it's a nice read that they, uh, well, hopefully it was a read from them that Kaboom were going to go for a similar kind of play. But Kaboom still with cash in the bank. Still got the open play on uh, ZQK. So let's see what they've got to show us here. Lots, lots of players around the uh, uh, B apartments now. And quite a bit of cash in the bank for Bolts in specific. He's still at 66 after the buy, falling on 50. So they could still force out in the next round as well if they can get a bomb down, especially. And this time they look like they're setting up toward B. Nothing's pushed up on Catwalk. Hasn't committed to a middle peak. Shazam's fallen off window, so they don't have full information, but there wasn't anyone there early on in the round. We'll have to see if they can get a read on this. Sean's back by the van. He'll be the first to see them. Yeah, it's a nice uh, time to actually throw that smoke. He's not seen anything. You can see him going for that very safe jump where he gets the peak just as his trajectory is like falling down. So it's like the hardest possible shot if they do actually peak out. And, you know, he gets the information if it's there. But if not, the smoke is there. And, you know, as soon as they do see them, they're going to know that they're going to start to be fairly committed to the play. So very good timing on that smoke there. You can see that Cloud9 aren't very ready for something to hit B right now. But defensive on A as well, not a wealth of information to really let them know what's going on. But here goes the smoke over the top there. And then go Kaboom. Oh, they're going to rotate it back. Not. They're going underpass back to A because Bolts was over there at least trying to find a pick. Didn't find anything, but I think he might have called that they rotated because he didn't find any angles at wow. all. And Steel's going to catch out on Sempis, so they've made the right call. They've got to work it over to the bomb site still because Shroud's at least taking down Bolts, and that gives him control of CT. And now Shazam's going to work, but Sean Gares carelessly walks through the vent to his own demise. Steel gets that, and then an aid going off. Does damage to both CT players They're on the stairs, and now Fur's going to get that bomb down. So two on two, they just got to hold the angles. Kaboom pulled themselves back into this nicely. This is, this is a really nice round here from Kaboom. Can they hold on? Two on two, in comes Shazam. Shout to take down first. All on Steel now, takes Shroud out. Shazam working with the AWP, looking for the angle there, but still. Just playing it slow, playing it by the book at the moment. Shazam goes for the first fake defuse, opens up the angle, goes around and still goes down. And Shazam did swap out for that rifle momentarily for that situation. But that was a fantastic round from Kingdom there. Really nice movement off the fake. They pulled the Cloud9 all the way back. It actually worked. They sold it completely. They opened up Connector, got through that choke point, and then boom, the round was wide open for them. And it was, it was for the taking. But uh, great effort from Cloud9. Sempis still only sitting with one kill on the board. He's playing in the A site, looking toward Palace. He's gonna have to tidy up because the rounds they've lost have all been there. Aside from that one eco, that was phenomenal play by Fur. But Shazam's had a great start to his lane experience with Cloud9, and that's exactly what they need out of him. So two orbs though, Fallen and, and ZQK actually picking up orbs here. That's, that's not so common at all on the T side of Mirage. So we'll have to see if they can find picks here because it's pretty hard to rush with orbs, it, it, and there's lots of difficult positions, like A pushes with orbs, it's, just, it's very awkward. So we'll have to see if they can actually bring about some good angles here. We'd like to see some good mid-presence from them with these orbs. And you can see uh, a pick is being looked for, I think, on apartments as well, with that one of the orbs. And uh, we do have ZQK there looking at Connector as they buy their time. Now Cloud9 are doing a good job here, actually, to, to just play completely defensively and not open up any angles for, for any information at the moment. Shroud gets the first blood of the round. That's on Bolts as he tries to work up inside the A stairs. But ZQK responds. That's Shazam down. So there's the first time they had gone head to head with the AWPs. And ZQK gets the better. Interesting smoke nade there from Kaboom. That is to cover off their connector so they can freely walk up catwalk and it's all going to be on Sean Gares to hold that site. Nothing's rotating but he's not there yet. Sean will get the first one. So the job has been at least been started but he's got to finish it or at least stay alive. Not going to happen. Steel's going to get the kill but nothing's arrived and now he's got to take his turn at being a magical player. Steel's not going to allow that either so he takes down two players and the bomb will get planted. Shroud at least gets one in revenge but it's two on two. Kaboom's got good positioning inside the site. Fallen not able to hit that shot on Shroud. Shroud looking for cover, trying to dance around. And Sempis on the flank will get Fallen. But Shroud fell just before that, so it's one on one. That bomb and ticking away for quite some time. Steele's got the angle. He's already got two in the round, not able to get the third. And Sempis, who I called out a few rounds ago, did come back in that one and gets the kill on the board. Thing is, though, like the money for both teams is like really screwed here. And uh, so, actually, how are Kaboom doing for money? They could actually, they could actually go for it right now, and uh, and actually, they have a good shot of actually just breaking the money for for Cloud9. So this is one of these rounds where they can actually take control of the match again. But if they're not able to pull this one off, 
then Cloud9 is going to start getting momentum. They could, you know, very easily bring it to that 10-5 and start feeling really comfortable. But if you can win this one, Cloud9 get into all sorts of awkward positions here. So, can be uh, quite curious now. They're not, they're not running with the, the two orbs. They've got the one now, just said QK. And there is the connector smoke, uh, sorry, uh, CTL smoke there. It's going to allow them to uh, crash the middle a little bit, or just deny the info for Cloud9, force them to reposition a little bit. Yeah, that opens up middle massively, and Shazam, because of the relocation, gets caught out by ZQK, who is up in Palace, so... Great start, good awareness. Kaboom, forcing the hand of Cloud9 to get the advantage in this one. And now they're trying to work it toward Connector. Sempus this time's over in that direction. Oh, over commits to the peak and actually overlooks Fur, and he gets the kill. Nothing responds with one, but Fallen immediately takes him down. So two players remain for Cloud9, one of which is Shroud, and he gets at least one kill. He's actually, looking for more. Sorry, there's actually like loads of time left. Kaboom could actually play some really sick mind games with Cloud9 at the moment, because they've got only one player per site at this point. So they, they should be able to... Shroud's leaving A too. Yeah, he's, he's, go, he's gonna go for it. Perhaps they got some information while they're going for the gamble. Either way, this is, uh, this is heavily advantageous for Kaboom. If they just play this by the book here, they should be able to take this down. It should be a three-on-one, essentially. Steel's there, you know, sitting in the middle, who can catch either rotation, or potentially actually catch a Shroud if he tries to go for a peek in CPL. So Kaboom looking fantastic in this round now. Just uh, some standard smokes here. Should get the plant. And it uh, looks like Cloud9 actually want to play more for a retake as two than playing a one versus three, which is a, a nice, tr nice approach. I'm very surprised Shroud didn't rotate back sooner because there was a good almost five, six seconds he sat there with no noise at B. And Late in the round, you can't just sit over there like that. They still haven't got the bomb down. Now they do. Shroud gets the first one on the re-entry. They've got to do more, though. He's down to 6 HP. Pardon me, that's Sean Gares on 6 HP. And Fallen's up close. And if they come around the corner too quickly, oh, they almost lined it up. He does get the first. And ZQK will get the second as well. So quick work there. And now six already on the board for Kaboom from Brazil. Yeah, these guys are showing some really fantastic rounds at the moment. I mean, they're showing some like good executes, good individual skill, good team play, good like mid-round calling. This is like a solid team. Like a lot of people would not have ever seen these guys play before ever, and it's not, a lot of people probably would never have even heard of Fallen before. Um, a guy you know has got a very, uh, very big history in Counter Strike. So it's so cool to see such a complete team arrive at this event at MLGX Games here. So now Cloud9 are on the eco, and we're starting to see those awkward positions get. You know, uh, that's the reality for them now. So. Can they do some damage with these pistols? You never know, but in comes Kaboom. All guns blazing. Nothing thrown out the flash there. Doesn't really get them blind. Although it does give Sean the opportunity from the opposing angle to get one. Sempus has picked up that AK as well, so... They have evened up the round quite considerably here. Sean's still on 2 HP. Fur's gonna find Sempus, so now it's an advantage for Kaboom, but they're also weak as Steel's on only 13. And Sean's not sure what he wants to do because... Oh no, he's gonna get caught out. Steel's still back there. He gets dropped as he tries to flank back around, and nothing is in a very awkward one-on-two because they've got bomb control. He is toward connector, though, and if they head up catwalk, he might be able to catch them out, but they've got a full opportunity of 45 seconds to crack open either bomb site. Is he going to peek at this angle at the right moment and just backs away? And uh, I think he heard the stepping there, so nothing knows where they are, but they don't know where he is just yet. He's got a slight edge, but he goes for a reload in a very awkward position and gets caught off there. But that was actually quite kind of very doable for him because he, he knew where they were coming from, both players. And that's like the key to getting like the quick one-on-one -on -one that then allows him to potentially get another one-on-one -on -one and win the round. So that was quite doable there for nothing. But 7-4 on a T half here for, for Kaboom on Mirage. That's massive. Question for you, DDK. Sure. Is this the best steal in the world? <laughs> I don't know just if, kidding, I don't, Josh Nissan is our observer, steal from XI by power, so that was just a dig at him. Yeah, I don't know if it's wise to like annoy our observer right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like a, that's He's probably rolling move. his eyes so hard that his retina is detached. That might prohibit him from being the best steal in the world. That's true, and uh, right now, you know, Cloud9 are running with Famuses here. Three Famuses, limited grenades. They don't need the head armor against the AKs, but definitely struggling here on the money. Pretty standard setup from them, though. Nothing there by a shadow. Is uh, Kaboom just looking for information around the map here, trying to see if uh, Cloud9 are going to give anything away? But they are playing it by the book so far, just very defensively on some decent positions. Yeah, it's textbook both sides, and this is what Kaboom has done so well in so many rounds. They try and find that early pick. They don't commit the bomb anywhere. Fallen's kind of lurking over toward A now, but he was back in T spawn for a lot of that. So it's great execution. You're right. They look like such a great team. And no nades left now for Cloud9. 
They have no nades to defend the push. This is actually a very, very important factor. And the interesting thing to note is the way that they prevented that wall of smoke was by putting a player in sandwich. They immediately Molotov that off so they couldn't hold that angle. And Fur's going to walk out, take down nothing under balcony. There's a smoke off, not only on CT, but also toward jungle. So again, another really swift take if they can continue on. And it looks like they're going to do so. Bolt is going to take down Semphis. And Shroud drops on CT as well. Kaboom is looking phenomenal. And Shazam tries to readdress, but steals wise to that. He looks toward the window, and suddenly Sean Gares is all by himself. I don't know what to tell you, man. Kaboom looks so well orchestrated. Yeah, it's a great round from them. And, you know, like wasting so much time and just like pressuring, poking here and there. I mean, again, you know, Kaboom obviously looking like a, a, to a top level team here. And they, they didn't get through all those teams in the Brazilian qualifiers for nothing. These guys are looking fantastic. And they knew the money that Cloud9 are on. They knew that they were on a rough buy. They knew that, that grenades were, were very limited. And just by pressuring a little bit, before the push even came in, there's, there's no nades left. There's no counter flashes. There's no way for like Cloud9 on their defense so, like, for like one player to like throw a flash over. So like the guy from Shadow can peek safely, pick up kills. That's like how usually you would defend these pushes, but but you know they just had no, nothing, no utility at all. So kaboom, just, fantastic. Just quickly as well, I, I like to look at mentality, especially in games like this when you don't know your opponent so well. Shroud sat with his arms folded for about 40 seconds right there. Nothing has his shoulders in a slouched position. I've never seen him look so depressed. They don't look at all mentally in this. They know what this means. They know what like eight rounds on T means on Mirage. That's that's got to be it. Like. It's, this, is a, this is pretty shocking, at, i, I got to say, and they, they obviously feel that as well. Either way, Kaboom, in this round, going to be taking hold of middle at the moment as Cloud9 go for a little bit of a, pu uh, a push, a poke on Palace. They see nothing. So this is going to give them some key information. There's no A play coming in anytime soon. Oh, that, oh no, what a great grenade oh, work there from Kaboom. Bye bye, Shazam. Shazam. So Steel's going to lurk toward B as he's done so many rounds, still looking for a pick, but they've got mid control, they're pushed up, Shroud's awkwardly in the backside of the A side, he's trying to at least get a shot toward Fur, manages to at least cross away back to the CT stairs unscathed, surprisingly at that. Steel though, still from B, catches out nothing on the rotation, and that's only going to be frustration for Jordan. As now Semphis does work to at least one Kaboom player, but Fallen immediately responds, and it's a three on two, make it a three on one, Fallen gets Shroud as well, this is... Absolutely ridiculous. Kaboom is looking like a team that not only could take down Cloud9 today, but might look like a threat to everyone in this group. How did Falling get those kills? It's like running around with the Glock just bursting it. Just, that was ridiculous. Kaboom, nine rounds to the four of Cloud9. Obviously, like, you know, it is a game of two halves. You know, removing any, any inherent map bias here or there, it is a game of two halves. Cloud9 can absolutely make a comeback. It's just going to be insanely difficult. So let's hope for their sake they're able to actually swing things back, at least put, pick up like six rounds for this first half. Got the AWP on Shazam now, so perhaps that can be their salvation. Well, it's going to need to be. A lot of people debating that change, but Hiko being their consistent player and oftentimes their best player no longer around. Shazam's really got to step in. We talked about revitalizing and changing gameplay. Well, it's got to work if you're going to make that gamble, and it and hasn't been it up yet. here as well. Like, they've got some good mid presence, and uh, this, this has, Kaboom have not run into this before. This is the first time they're showing this. It's Shazam pushing there on the, on the Biat. And he's, this is the same thing he did against Titan. When th things got closer, a little bit out of hand, he started to push a little bit too aggressively and got caught for it. And it's not the first time I've seen him give up first blood in the round. He can be so good, but he can make such little careless mistakes as well. So now it's, it's all a case of just Cloud9 repositioning. You can see them actually just going to a more safe setup. Now that they lost uh, Shazam and uh, Biaps, they've split two to a site, one going connector. Got good presence all over the place. So it's going to be down to just hitting the shots at this point. And with uh, still just spotting Sean Garris there at the, uh, the car. Gonna give them some key information. Of course, uh, ZQK yet to open up the round. In goes Steel, though, going to be actually making the move into the bomb site. There goes a flash. Still opens up the angle, does spray down Sean Garris, and that's an open B bomb site. It's all or nothing, and he can't do it against ZQK. He saves it with the AWP. It's a three on two. Looks like it's actually quite doable for Cloud9, however, but it's going to be very difficult here. Fallen's not peeking out. He was for a moment, but Shroud couldn't find the angle, and there it is. ZQK, easy shot with the AWP. Leaves just Semphis remaining. There is two low HP players, but I mean, you gotta go for it. There's no point. You gotta get rounds as much as possible. He will get falling, gets dig down to 17 HP though. And they've got the angle set up on him right now. Actually, first gone all the way around. He's gonna try and flank in, but it doesn't matter. ZQK gets it up close with the Glock. 
Ah, what can you say? Kaboom is looking like a much better team than everyone anticipated, including us. Well, this is the thing. I mean, I, I know a lot of people will say, oh, maybe this, is, this could be an upset if they actually managed to outperform Cloud9. But in reality, we don't have enough data from from the Brazilian scene, on, on average, like the North American scene, that Europe, European scene, much better uh, documented in, in the kind of circles that, that uh, CS is, is most dominant in at, in at the moment. So uh, Kaboom, they look really legit, the stuff that they've been showing us. Cloud9, they need to bounce back, they need to do it now. They've got three men here with uh, a setup on the A bomb site. Not gonna spot anything just yet, no, and Kaboom taking it slow once again, just shaking map control all over the place. No, no presence in middle just yet, though. As they assess their options. And Cloud9, not going to go for the push. Here's Bolts looking for a pick there. Might just get peaked by Semphis. Playing it slow. There's the pot flash by Semphis. And the peak comes and Bolts goes down. And they need those plays. They need to catch them like that. And that's going to help them immensely as they get the early kill. But it may not help them a whole lot as I say it because they're over toward B and Sean Gares is alone again. He's got to be efficient. If he can't get all the kills, he needs to stay alive. That. Molotov's gonna force him out of his position, and now they're down behind him. They're gonna drop in, and Steel gets an easy kill as a result. Sean not aware that he was completely pinched, and Shazam's the first to arrive. Nothing is in the kitchen as well. In fact, they're all gonna come from the same angle, so they've gotta push forward in a Virtus Plow type fashion. But ZQK takes down Shazam, and it's all gonna be held right now. Kaboom, looks like not only will they get double digits, they'll get one more on top of that as Steel takes nothing, and another one for ZQK. It's just Sempus left, and man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, Cloud9, four. no response whatsoever in the first half. Kaboom in full control, and you gotta look at the faces on Cloud9. Nobody looks into it, and Shazam, being a new player, always looks amped up. Even he looks zapped right now. I mean, the thing about that, that round as well is that they, they took out Bolts, but Bolts' role in that, that entire round for, for Kaboom was actually just to provide some presence, to actually stay alive and, and maybe get a pick which to, to like really sell it and just keep the rotation delayed. But in reality, they, they actually got the kill on him and he didn't do any damage. And so if they'd actually like pushed a little bit more, they could have worked out that it was going to be a B play. But in, it took them forever to actually relocate someone to actually help Sean Garris. He was alone on, on B for the longest of times. So, I mean... Definitely Cloud9, uh, not with the, the correct reads in a lot of these spots, and Kaboom have just been... They, they're obviously matching them for skill here, so they're just taking them, they're just outplaying them. It's great work. There's not one positive expression on the face of either Cloud9 or their manager, Trey. Stunna, they don't look pleased at all with this early performance. They came to X Games with what I thought was the best chance of a North American team to get out of Group A. Right now, that's all going out the window, and... Kaboom is looking strong, and I don't know what the response is going to be. The calls are going to have to be perfect. Sean Gares, Sempis, I don't know what they're going to, who they're going to look to in this case. They've got to make it perfect because they've got to get back into it. It all starts right now. This pistol. All right, so pretty standard uh, setup here from Kaboom. It's kind of like a three, a three man uh, B defense to play for an A retake, defensive positioning on A. So very standard stuff here, and uh, actually seeing a bit of a push here to try to scout out, and QK actually going to get caught off there. So that's an early advantage for Cloud9. Can they capitalize though? Can they bring this about? But Kaboom fall in with two fries. Sean Garrison, nothing going down. They wanted to get that B split going, but now it's been completely crippled. And Cloud9 have to reassess the situation. Got a lot of time. That's the only thing that they have really going for them at the moment. Furs still back toward A2, just to make sure they don't go in that direction. So there's not like there's an open invitation. And Boltz was at his sights set firmly on Sempus, who's trying to work out from Connector right now. But watch out, Boltz is rotated back to the opposite side of it. That's really smart, though. Connector is very important to hold in this kind of a situation. And you can see Shazam actually allowing the bomb to go down here. Well, at least they get inside the site. It is a three on three, but look at Shroud, two HP. He's going to have to play this absolute best right now. And Boltz already takes down Shazam, so it's only getting harder. And now Fur takes Sempus to Shroud. The two HP going to do nothing. And I don't know, man. That's. A pistol round going the way of Kaboom. 12 rounds on the board. Should potentially go to 13, maybe even 14 here. What? Yeah. I, I, Cloud9, I mean, I, I'm, so I'm speechless. Can, I know they've trailed off in the latter half of 2014. They can buy two scouts at least. Oh. All right? that, so, so they can be They're happy about to. that. I'm always happy when I buy a scout. So, I mean, that's a good way to raise morale. But uh, you know what? They're just going to go for, for the pistols and the armor, the nades. So we're going to see a potentially interesting execute from them. I can't wait to hear Thorne's opinion after this game on what, whether, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kaboom's playing lights out. They're playing awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no doubt about it. I still don't think Cloud9 looks like the days of old. And I mean, is it a leadership issue? Do they just not have the raw talent anymore? There's definitely debates to be made and maybe the shuffle didn't pay off or maybe they just need more time, yeah. but. Setup coming in now, these nades. 
So are they going to have a fancy wall of smokes like uh, uh, Kaboom was uh, pulling off? This is just more standard. The counter grenades are coming in as well from Kaboom, so this side uh, is going to be actually quite hard to push into. They're getting kind of staggered by the counter grenades, which uh, works to Kaboom's favor, and they're picking up the kills here. Good work with the scout with the FAMAS and two players left and they don't have enough position right now. The bomb might be able to go down. Nothing turning around, taking down balls. So it's all or nothing in this one on three. Huge, huge deal of work to be done here. Picked up an M4 though, does have the bomb and he's got positioning into CT. He could actually go behind them to B and I think he might. This is something I could totally picture nothing to do. He's going to smoke off the vent. So yeah, hello B, let's go plant that bomb quickly. They're already running around. Oh, that would have been a great opportunity as well to fake back actually, but... And this, this could be basically the play of, of the tournament for nothing. This kind of, this could result in a swing. If he's able to pull this one off and he's going to have a position when they don't know where he is. He's got the element of surprise, but there's three players to deal with. He's done it before. He's going to have to do it again. He's been a player that's so prominent in North America for so many years, but he's going to have to be his best, and he's not. Steel's going to catch him with that FAMAS, so another round on the board for Kaboom. They're going to run around and collect the weaponry before they go for the defuse, and unfortunately nothing. It was clever, but not enough in the end. Yeah, I mean, that, that's actually... It looks like quite hard for this, but because he's able to get into this position where they don't know where he is, that's actually can become quite doable if the plant is in the right spot as well. So, uh, very unfortunate there that he just wasn't able to connect quickly with the first player. Still, man, he's been, been really hitting those shots. He's on 21 frags. He's by far topping the scoreboard. This guy is on fire at the moment against uh, Cloud9. And here they are now in with uh, a scrappy buy, to say the least. They have to. At this point, there's, you, you can't sit back. You can't give away more rounds. You gotta make the comeback of your life. They've done it before on this map. Of course, they did it with Hiko in the roster. Fur's getting aggressive at middle as well. They're gonna push right up with that M4. He might catch them out on the corner. Shroud's gonna jump around, and there it is. He's gonna pop up. He gets one. Oh, can he get the double? Yes, he does. They have no idea that he's there. And look at the rest of them. They just drop like flies. And Sempis all alone. Man, oh man. He does get one into Fur, but the room is playing all the right angles, all the right calls, and... That's just like beautiful Counter-Strike. That, that just like makes me happy inside. This is beautiful Counter-Strike to watch make you that. happy. I'm a North American. I don't know what to think right now. <laughs> but I mean, just like throwing in those middle pushes like that and having it be so safe as they did. Like they had the teammate like throw the flash over, like there's, there's a distraction, then boom, the, the, the player comes out uh, and steals just to take the frags. It's just, that's just how you do it. And uh, it just so happened Cloud9 were trying to push middle at that point. So it worked out for them. And now Cloud9 again in with some grenades, trying to go for a fast play with these P250s. Is B going to be the site right now? Or will this defense from Fur be good enough? Here they go. To the bomb site, falling with the opening kill onto Shroud. So, so far, so good for Kaboom. Crucially, that's the bomb as well, so they have to re-grab that. And Semphis tries and falls as well, so Kaboom is holding on extremely well. And look at this, they mop the floor again, Shazam down, it's all on Sean Gears. He can't do anything, it's match point already. Already for Kaboom. I know, right? 15 to 4, this is what is happening right now. ZQK pulling out the scar, the black black, and we got falling with it all. This, this is just looking ridiculous at this point. It's like these guys can do no wrong. I mean, the team play looks really solid as well. Like, they've got some great setups going, great like, team flashes uh, to try to like, push certain positions. And like, they've been blowing up Cloud9's like, strats before they actually get going. There's only like, been one round where they were able to make an execute. And they didn't even have, like, that wasn't even like a proper buy round for them. So here we go. The AK's coming out now for Cloud9. A wealth of, gr of grenades as well. So let's see if they can pull something off. Already losing Sempis in middle to that. Uh, Scar, the auto sniper. Good control of connector here from Kaboom. And in through the smoke, Shazam boldly walks up, gets eliminated by Volts. That's a massive loss there for Cloud9. What is going on right oh, now? Oh my goodness. Every angle shut down. All the shots made. Cloud9 have no answer. They're walking out carelessly. They're playing undisciplined. And Kaboom is wise to every move they're making. And Sean Gares on match point. Has to be magical. Does get fallen. A nice shot. Now he's going to... Molotov off on Catwalk, so they can't push out that angle, but first still above on the connector, and they're both going to walk through. First should peek out at any moment. It doesn't matter. ZQK and Steel get it. It's over. Just like that, Cloud9 get obliterated against the Brazilians. Kaboom, I don't think anyone saw that coming, and Cloud9 looks stunned. They look speechless. And watch out, world. Brazil's got a contender. They look so...